Hey Scorpios, welcome to your love letter. This is what your crush wants to tell you or what you want to tell your crush. All right, let's see what's going on. I'm already seeing coins. Okay, somebody about the money. Somebody got money or they about the money, okay? Oh, let's see, hold on. I think I gotta stand up here, hold on. Oh, this energy is always coming through with the Scorpio love letters, okay? Here's what I'm getting here, okay? This is someone who definitely they're they're they feel they, they're very confident for one they're giving emperor energy they know their worth they uh want to be treated as such as an emperor that's what i'm getting all right um even how i'm like i need to stand up to do this it's like stand up when you talk to me not saying that that's what they feel but they they command respect with their energy okay it's giving very masculine energy that's undeniable but i don't feel like it's unhealthy it feels like a healthy masculine energy where you know how like some how a feminine energy when they're around a healthy masculine or healthy dominant energy you just sit into your feminine that's the energy that i'm getting here all right that's what i'm getting here um yeah this person is rock solid this is what they want you to know they want you to know, baby, <laughs> when you're with me, you're good. Ain't nobody fucking with me. And because ain't nobody fucking with me, ain't nobody fucking with you. I'm not fucking man. You don't get it, do you? Okay? That's what they want to let you know. All right? You, you messing with the best. <laughs> oh, my God. This person, this person, I don't feel like, okay, this person is confident, but I don't feel like it's coming from an unfounded place it feels grounded i feel like this person has worked to get to where they are or this belief about themselves they probably been through some things emperor energy they probably been through the ringer okay so they know what they're worth they know what they're capable of they don't have sh shit to prove all right um and they balance some things out it doesn't feel like you know the the it just doesn't feel like toxic masculinity, but it is very masculine though. <laughs> All right, well, what they want to say? Oh, somebody ran from this situation. Um, I feel like someone ran from this situation. Uh, now they're coming back. This person is coming back as this character. Whoever this is, you don't know them to be this way, okay? You want, you might have met them when they were masculine in a toxic way, and now they're showing up in this very respectable manner. Like, they got it together. They got it together. I don't know if the money is playing a role, too, um, if they have more money or whatever the case is. Just because they have more money doesn't mean that they're respectable masculine, all right? But that might have helped to boost their ego a bit as well, is what I'm getting. All right, for some of them. All right. <laughs> Even how I'm talking, I kind of want to like skirt around it. I don't want to offend. You know what I mean? That's how I'm getting here, okay? This person, I feel like they definitely have a balance here. Um, they, they have this dark side, though. They do have this dark side. They have this dark side. They don't mind letting it out. Like, it's like, look. I'm going to be chill, but I will cut you, okay? Like, that's what I'm getting here. They're going to make you feel very safe and secure. And that's that's really what they want you to know. Baby, you with me. I got you. So I'm getting that energy. If money is, um, if they have money or whatever the case is, or even if they don't, then this is their intention for you. They want to make sure that they're providing for you. They want to make sure that they're taking care of you. You don't have to worry you don't have to chip your nails on anything because they about to take care of whatever they need to take care of okay that's what i'm getting here um heavy on the provider energy heavy on the security this person wants to be your security and your protector my gosh this could be the one that's coming through free yourself it yeah, yeah. This could be a little bit of um See, that's the thing. The thing about this a little bit, it does feel like a little bit of a cloaking energy, like they want to cover you. 
which is nice. They want to cover you with their love. It's protective, but I don't think it might not feel as liberating. If this is you, just be mindful of that. You might not be making them feel free. So try to find that balance of being their protector and their rock, but from a distance sometimes. All right. That's what I'm getting here. So but and the only reason why this is coming through is because like that that um that sidebar of maybe it's a cloaking and that could be an issue or a red flag because this could be the one and the thing is that is such a it's coming from such a good place it would be silly if that got in the way of this type of love is what i'm getting here if somebody's just misunderstanding their protection and taking it as stifling energy like just be mindful of that whoever this is <laughs> i'm channeling a whole love reading at this point um if you're the masculine here and you have the tendency to want to protect and provide just make sure that you are still seeing what they actually want to experience maybe they want to fly free maybe they want to take that walk alone it doesn't mean that you know that is taken away from you being as a, a protector whatever the case is okay that okay i think it's just it, it can be a little bit of a misunderstanding about what a protector is okay the timing just wasn't right for us my life is not as together as it seems yeah so i wish things could be different and just being near you is intoxicating there's a little bit there can be a little bit of a controlling energy it might feel like that and it can also lead to some type of codependency right um where now the person being taken care of being cloaked and being covered and secured by this person might rely very heavily on this other person it can lead to an imbalance i don't feel like it's coming from a bad place on either end i just feel like if somebody really wants to step up and be the man in that situation allow yourself to let the feminine take care of you as well okay so that you guys have that exchange and have that balance for each other okay um this person this masculine energy they're just like they just really really care and they really want to take care of this person they don't want anything to happen to this person you know um so it just it might the way it, it might come out is i want to keep you in my lair <laughs> i'm joking it's not it's not giving that type of energy but anyway this is definitely someone from Someone from the past or whatever, um, they're working things out. See, money might be an issue. I don't know if they have the money right now and that or not. If they don't, then they're not coming in until they do because they feel like they have to be a certain level of a protect and provider, um, which is holding up the connection from happening. Okay. Uh, that was your love letter. And uh, peace. <laughs>